What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are at High Plains Raceway. Yes, we are. We are not uh, tracking my car yet, but it is here. We still need to get some get new brakes and, and some stuff before it will be ready to, to be tracked. But we have met Angela, who is the owner of this M2 and she has been so kind to offer to take us along for the ride on the track and just kind of to get to know to get to uh, experience what it's like and i'm going to take you guys on for the for the journey yeah so we have her m2 beautiful spec that's the n55 version we have some other cool cars like this 340i over here for example So the car with me and an, a solid amount of fuel is right about 3,000 pounds. The door is okay. fully stripped and then the Lexan piece is just held in place with a little aluminum bar. Okay. Standard E46 reinforcements apply to wagons too. All the way through, um, through the subframe so that it mounts the fuel pump. Side, minus the 
there's lines of death. Um, and again, the I don't care if you're scared. I'm not, yeah. I don't care we're if good. you're motion sick. I'm not motion sick either. Okay, so if for any reason you're not feeling great, put your middle fist, your, your left fist oh, up left fist. right here where I can see it. Okay, sounds good. Just in case you need anything. Yeah, so excited. Yeah, it's a fun track. Um, Every corner has a different lesson to it. I, so I heard. So there's a decreasing radius, an increasing radius, fast turns, slow corner. And yeah, I take I take the turns a little bit different than some other cars just because of the way this car is set up. I understand. Because it's stiff, because it has um, a bit more grip. over here chilling awesome that was really fun did you have fun i did yeah. all right we are in the m2 angela's gonna take us for a, for a quick lap or a few <laughs> First thing they'll probably do is like, how do you sit? So when you're right. sitting, you need to make sure that your arms can go like this pretty easily. Yeah, makes sense. Um, usually you'll raise your seat up too, just so you're at a higher. Uh huh. What is the purpose of doing that? Um, doing this, if your wrists go over, you know you have good control. I see. Okay. So you kind of want to be not too far forward, but a little bit more forward than usual. Gotcha. So the first lap out we'll do, you take it like, five out of ten just to warm up the tires and that yeah. kind of thing okay. and then I was telling them that um, we'll only go like eight out of ten not ten out of ten if you need to go off just go like this and I'll know that you're you just you're ready to head in so first we gotta kind of check to make sure we're clear then we go in
so we are in the, in the sem 2 right now getting just waiting on gas waiting to fill up gas out here is 5.8 dollars per gallon so it is um it's not cheap that's probably why people bring their own their own gas but yeah we are in a familiar familiar interior just slightly different than, than, than ours we have dual clutch transmission in the sim 2 yeah it's fun times angela's gonna take us on, a, on another another few laps and um yeah it should be it should be awesome my cheeks look like i'm so fat <laughs> guys and we are done with the track day it was a ton of fun i have never experienced a track day i've never even been at a track let alone ride in a in a car let alone ride in a race car so that was an amazing amazing experience i would absolutely love to do that again and i want to take my car on track i already talked to the uh talked to the people there at the track and you know to get a little bit more information um in the United States, there are definitely a few different groups uh, that you can become a member of, like BMW Club of America, Rocky Mountain BMW Club of America, Porsche Club, Audi Club, uh, NASA is like a North America something association, I forget. And usually they will have open days based on whichever group you're aligned with. And then you can get discounted um, track days uh, the group that was there today, if, if I were to uh, go tomorrow when they have uh, driving school, then I would have to do a lesson with, a, with an instructor and you have to go through different, uh, There's you started basically category D, which is I think the slowest one, then you go C, B, A, and then once you get through all of those, then uh, with an instructor, then you can get um, out on a racetrack by yourself and then you can sign up for open lap days, do slow sessions, fast sessions, whatever, whatever the case may be. And um, yeah, this was just this, just a lot of fun. Um, I it was it, it's a racetrack that's about an hour, hour and a half east of Denver, uh, high, high plains raceway. And um, yeah, I definitely experienced what like race suspension feels like i experienced now what uh race brakes feel like and all of that so i definitely would need to do a little bit of work on the car before we were to like use it as a track car and stuff like that but yeah guys thank you so much for sticking around and watching i hope this was as enjoyable for you as it was for me and uh, yeah if you like this video please like share and subscribe and other than that i will see you in the next one bye bye